This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Professor Richard Conroy, the chairman of Conroy Gold, following the results of two scout hole drills. And these holes are part of the company's exploration in a significant 20 square kilometre zinc zone. Well, thank you for joining us today. Richard, how are you doing, first of all? We're very, very happy. It's nice to have some 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 results from the the base metals as well as the the other work we've been doing so indeed yeah from the base metals as well as the other work of course being um the gold but i wonder if i can ask you sort of obviously with conroy in the past we've, we've considered very much a gold play um the gold opportunity or the golden opportunity in ireland where has this uh, the base metal this lincoln z come from is this something you've always been looking for i'm just trying to get some context as to perhaps where these scout holes fit into uh, the, the, the sort of the bigger picture really well we've always been aware that it's it's been uh a very me metalliferous district and indeed in years gone by uh, there were some some um, lead uh, mines in uh, the Armagh Monaghan area, so we were conscious of it. And then a few years back, we did a fairly extensive ground survey, uh, and that showed up uh, a very very extensive uh, uh, zinc anomalous uh, area, about twenty kilometers square kilometers to the uh, south um, southeast of where we're doing the work on gold. Okay, okay. So this is something, I mean, and these scout drilling holes, when, when were they done? Were they done recently? They were taken by the They've company just, themselves? They've just been done. Uh, I mean, obviously our main emphasis has been and is and will remain on, on, on the gold. It was very okay. nice with base metals as well. And of course, we've uh, we've a um, long record in base metals. We brought in the, discovered and brought in the Galmoy zinc mines uh, in Ireland and between our, ourselves and the Jepson Chevron and Tara. Uh, for a while, we were producing over 30% of the entire uh, requirements for zinc of the Western European market, British and okay. uh, European. And these results then, you've got highlights of 30 metres at 0 0.42 zinc and lead from 9 metres depth, so not not very deep, and um, showing a 25 metre intersection at 0.26% zinc and lead from 11 metres. So, I mean, in terms of the grades and the initial depth, what's it looking like as a first look at this um, this deposit? Well, the main object of, of, of the drilling, uh, the scout holes, as you mentioned, uh, was to see whether in actual fact underneath this very extensive anomaly, uh, there was uh, uh, zinc uh, in, the, in the actual rock and to what extent. Okay. And uh, this is proof that there is, that it isn't just purely a surface uh, anomaly, no matter how big, but in actual fact that the underlying rock uh, contains uh, zinc. So they're okay. very much, as you say, scout, scout holes, but um, both of them have uh, been confirmatory, both hit something, so that's very nice. Okay, and you, of course, have a, a lot of experience yourself in uh, in this commodities, don't you? Um, perhaps moreover, I know Conway's the gold play, but you've got an extensive history in uh, in lead and zinc, and the RNS saying that the, the results have led the company to plan further drilling to explore for higher grades within this large zinc anomaly. So, I mean, the company, I guess the company's not shifting away from gold. It's something you're going to do in tandem. No, no not in the least. Um, but it's still very, very, very nice indeed. And the gold is doing extremely well from uh, the point of view of price. And we're doing extremely well from the point of view of the technical developments and the extent. And our main emphasis now is, is going to be on, uh, on bringing in our first mine. And that will probably be followed by others. These are gold mines now. Um, but at the same time, one doesn't ignore the potential for the base okay. uh, metals. Uh, base metals are in high demand, particularly with the, the zero economy, if that comes about. We already know the significant stibnite in, in, in the area. Um, so it's a very, very nice addition to, to the very, very considerable okay. uh, gold potential which we have. 
Okay. And I mean, is it correct? Am I correct in sort of saying that from the gold potential, you are, as we talked about last time, looking for that other joint venture partner to uh, to advance that further with you and bring in a gold mine? And then the company might perhaps directly, Conroy might directly focus on the base metal potential? Well, that's poss possibly, but we could also perhaps uh, do a joint venture there with, with one of the large zinc companies, for example. Okay. And so, you know, we're in a very, very good position with, with, with the progress that has been made in the gold and now it's uh, an addition for base metals. So it's uh, okay. we're in a very good position. Okay, good. And how are things shaping up in terms of, um, well, yeah, advancing the gold opportunity with a potential partner? I appreciate some things might be... Uh, not able to be discussed, NDAs, etc. But um, if you could suggest any uh, potential of what might be to come, that would be helpful to uh, shareholders, I'm sure. Well, we 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 know, and uh, this is public knowledge, that um, we have a, a booth uh, annually at the uh, uh, PDEC conference in Toronto, which is the big mining conference of the year. Um, and one has said previously that uh, at the last one, just before COVID, uh, a number of companies had made arrangements and some actually completed them uh, to come and do site visits. Um, so there's a very considerable interest. And even at the recent one that uh, was in the beginning of, uh, of March, uh, there were a number of, of parties expressing interest and wondering was there any way in which perhaps they could come in uh, in some form or another to the partnership and development. Okay. I mean, what we have is, even by any large gold industry standards, very large indeed, uh, with uh, not only two gold trends over which we have secured the, 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 the land uh, over the entire areas, um, and uh, as well as that, the Tlantibrit uh, deposit, on which we already have on a small part of it, half a million ounces, that is looking increasingly as though it could be something like Fosterville. And Fosterville, of course, is a very, very, very good gold mine indeed. So we're very well pleased. We're in a very happy position. And indeed, there are a lot of people who are, uh, have the kindness and uh, with whom we've known for many years, and some of them are talking to us. Okay, so those discussions are ongoing, and um, you would hope to announce something in due course. No, no, no. We're 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 in a very happy position now that we've we've uh, demonstrated the enormous potential for gold uh, in uh, the area, um, and uh, now we want to see well what's the what is the most advantageous way uh, forward with with this. And you're looking at um, you're looking at very serious sums of of, of money. Um, so we'll be having discussions probably over the coming months and, and, and so on. We're in no, no particular rush. In fact, more people are coming to us than the other way around. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So having discussions over the coming months. So in terms of what the company might be active with in, in the coming months, let's say, what, um, what can investors be um, anticipating that the company will be working on? Well, we have so much uh, already. We'll certainly be doing some some further uh, technical uh, work and probably uh, some further surveys on the actual uh, literal potential of the area. But I don't think it's been taken fully on board yet that we're looking here at um, half a million ounces and one small part of one target. We've proven up a whole series of other targets, some of them looking very nice indeed, and there are probably more to come. Um, so you're looking at a, a fairly major uh, potential, uh, even by the standards of the largest companies in the gold industry. So we're, we're very happy to sit and see, well, what, what is the best way forward? What are the best offers that come to us? Uh, and we have 100% of it. So, so very, it's a very good, shall we say, uh, negotiating position to have such a very large assets, which nobody else, no other uh, exploration company, we have the good fortune to have discovered these assets, but there's no other exploration company of our size or comparable, which is anything uh, near what uh, we may potentially have. So it's um, that's what that's why so many of the major companies are having people come and do site visits and, and talk with us and. Uh, uh, we're certainly very happy to talk with them and, and uh, over the coming months now decide what's the best way forward, what is the okay. most advantageous way um, to us and, uh, and obviously our shareholders. Okay. Well, thank you for that update and for your time today. Richard Conroy, the chairman of Conroy Gold, and uh, we'll wait to see um, some of the, uh, the outcomes of these potential discussions. Well, you're very welcome. <laughs>
If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.